بسم الله السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ می پیس بی اپان یو آل ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ایوری بڑی آئی ہوپ ایوری بڑی از ڈوئنگ ویل ان شاء اللہ الحمد للہ ایم ڈوئنگ فائن ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از گوئنگ ٹو بی مائی ہجاب اسٹوری سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا فرسٹ کوشچن از ہاؤ اولڈ ور یو وین یو اسٹارٹ ٹو ویئر دا ہجاب آئی واز ٹوینٹی ایئرس اولڈ اینڈ الحمد للہ آئی بین ویئرنگ دا ہجاب فار ایٹ ایئرس وٹ اور ہو انفلوئنس یو ٹو بیکم اے ہجابی My grandfather was the biggest influence in my life to become, in a, to become a hijabi. Unfortunately, we lost him on September 9th, 2010. So for me, he is always, and to this day, he is still my angel. up in Jannah, which is heaven. So he is my biggest motivation for putting on the hijab and keeping it on. I also believe that your environment that you're involved in has a lot to do with whether you wear the hijab, whether you keep it on, or I'm very close with, with the local masjid here up in New Jersey, where I live. I'm involved in many different committees that they have there. Even during Ramadan, my mom and I, we go to the masjid and we help them out with food and, you know, we help them. We help them set up the room and stuff and we volunteer our time and give back. Question number three, how has the hijab changed your life? Wearing the hijab has changed my life in so many different beautiful ways. One, it has given me more self-confidence and and has made me more aware of Islam and how to be a good Muslim. Question number four, what does hijab mean to you? Hijab means to me is that it's not just a scarf that I wear on my head. It's a sign of modesty. Question number five, how do you deal with rude comments, stares, due to the, the fact that you are a hijabi? I haven't received very many rude comments, stares, or anything like that because I'm in hijab. Alhamdulillah, I feel that the hijab is a part of my identity and it tells people that I am 
a Muslim woman. Okay. Question number six. What is your favorite thing about wearing hijab? My favorite thing about wearing the hijab is that I feel that the hijab is something that I can wear proudly and it is part of my identity. Question number seven. What is your favorite hijab accessory? Now, for me, my favorite hijab accessory are the kind of hijab styles that don't require pins because I work with children. Well, I used to work with children. That's my previous job. I was a teacher's aide. And the kids in my class, they used to love my hijab. They used to love playing with it and touching it and you know going like this and like that and touching it so i realized that you can't wear pins because if you wear pins and they fall out a three-year-old a four-year-old a five-year-old sees the pin they put it in their mouth and you have a big lawsuit so i decided you have to create these pinless hijab styles. Something that doesn't require pins. Or I used to always wear the one piece. What is your advice that you would give to a new hijabi? My advice to a new hijabi is to start wearing the hijab slow. I learned that wearing the hijab is a process. You have to make sure that you're there spiritually and you have to make sure that once you put it on that you don't take it off. A lot of my friends, when they convert to Islam, they put the hijab on. And then a couple months later, I hear from them that, oh, we lost our faith and we took it off. So you have to make sure that you have a very, very, very strong faith or imam, as we call it in Arabic terms. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to keep that hijab on. What, qu what questions do you get most about wearing hijab? A lot of people, now I deal with a lot of non-Muslims, so a lot of people that I meet everyday interactions, they ask me, well, are you forced to wear that? Does your husband make you wear that? And why are you wearing that? So I use it as an opportunity to give them education about Islam. I tell them that no, I wasn't forced to wear it. That hijab is a choice that women or females have once they reach puberty and that it's not forced upon them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace be upon you all. 
I'll see you all in my next video, inshallah. Have a blessed day.